It's a shoe shine stand at the airport, and the guy goes, hey, I mean, your shoes, your shoes look bad. Hop up here, I'll fix you up. Okay, my shoes look bad, but is that really an acceptable way to drum up business by insulting me? I've never walked in front of the clothing store and had the guy stand on the front going, get your raggedy butt in here. You ought to be ashamed of yourself walking around town looking like that. Comb your hair, you bum. I was at the mall the other day, I saw a store, a shoe store had a big sign up that said, semi-annual fall sale. <laughs> fall comes once a year, according to my calendar. <laughs> I bought a pair of sneakers. I think I got a good price. I put $50 down and I'm paying $5 a month for 60 months. <laughs> That's where they get you. You ever go to Payless, shoe store Payless? They're all right, right? They're okay if you go in the morning when it's still sort of organized. You know what I mean? You go later in the day, it looks like, it looks like the three students had a shoe fight in there. <laughs> Lids and boxes all over the place. I prefer like Foot Lock, we got to point to the shoe up on the wall to the guy. Yeah, hey, I like this shoe here. Do you think you can just go in the back room and screw around for about 20 minutes? <laughs> Play video games or whatever the heck it is you do back there? How big is that warehouse back behind that door? Like he's getting on the forklift and driving for miles. <laughs> just looking for my sneakers. Last time the guy comes out, and he comes out to me, he's got two boxes. He said, I don't have a, he said, I don't have a size 10, but I have an eight and a half and an 11. <laughs> really? Well, I'm pretty sure the eight and a halfs will hurt my feet. <laughs> yeah, because last time I got eight and a halfs, both my feet hurt constantly. <laughs> but maybe I get the 11s and stuff newspapers up into the toes. <laughs> maybe I gotta buy those tube socks over there. They say the fit size is six through 12. <laughs> and just flap the unused portion underneath my foot. Would that be a recommendation, Mr. Referee? <laughs> just blow the whistle twice if the answer is yes. Six through 12, the socks fit. Shaquille O'Neal and I wear the same socks. <laughs> I was looking at a pair of shoes in the shoe store and they had the, this pair of shoes was secluded from the other shoes on the stand, something like this, right? And I'm just looking at them, trying to figure out why they're all separated. And the guy comes up and says, that's a great shoe. That was the first shoe ever designed specifically for walking. <laughs> right there, as if the sandals Moses wore were designed for racquetball. <laughs> and Galileo, he wore cross trainers all around town. I asked the guy, see, do you be getting those belts in that are designed to hold up your pants? <laughs> Have they invented that yet, sir? I bought a belt the other day, I bought a reversible belt. When I was a kid, my dad had a reversible belt. I remember one side was brown and the other side was a whip. Yeah, yeah. I remember, I remember. I like brown, I like brown, that was my preference. I thought he looked good in brown. A lot of young guys these days, they're, wearing, they're not wearing any belts at all, right? You've seen them, they have their pants hanging down low so everybody can see their underwear. That's supposed to be sexy, that's what I've been told. And I agree, but you know what I like to do sometimes? I like to put, I like to put my pants on first, then I like to put my underwear up over my pants. <laughs> then I pull my underwear down a little bit in the back and give people a peek at my pants. <laughs> I, think, I think that's sexy. <laughs> I think that's sexy. <laughs> you know, I also like to, wear, I like to wear both of my shoes on the same foot. <laughs> I think that's sexy. I can pull it off because one of them's an eight and a half and one of them's an 11. <laughs> I like the Gap. I like shopping at the Gap. One reason I'm still a 34 waist at the Gap. Yeah, not everywhere, but at the Gap, I was a 34 regular fit for a long time. I was a 34 relaxed fit for a while. I was a 34 easy fit. Now I'm a 34 loose fit. But I'm still a 34. Got to buy size. 40 underwear for some reason. Is that a different system altogether? Get the 34s on. This is all wrong. This is like a tourniquet. Subscribe to Dry Bar Comedy for even more of the world's largest collection of clean comedy.